Hey guys, Danny here, back with another video for you. Today we're looking at some wireless earbuds. These are in a completely matte black case, which really appeals to me. I love that stealthy look when it comes to tech. Even the text underneath is faded to accentuate the black color. This product was sent to me for review, and as always, if you'd like to pick it up, I'll put a link down in the description for you. As you can probably tell, I really like the overall design of these. It even has a little flap on the side covering the USB slot and you can also charge this up using USB-C which is always nice. Some earbuds are still using micro USB which is a little annoying. There is also a really neatly fitted screen on the front which on some previous earbuds I've tested can be uh, quite big and in the way but they fit this in quite nicely and I really like the little blue LEDs either side which shows you your charge for either earbud. And of course you get your percentage of the case in the middle. The earbuds themselves do have a bit more of a shine on the outside of them. I would have preferred these to be matte black also. I just find this more shiny plastic gives a cheaper feel. But I do like the fact that these are stealthy also. It just carries through that overall design. And I do prefer earbuds to be more stealthy when I'm training with them or wearing them. I don't want them to stand out too much. So I am still a fan of the earbuds as well and you will see they are really nice and compact. The case is packing a 2000 mAh battery so you should get about 10 to 12 full charges out of this case. And you do also have some little LEDs on the earbuds themselves which will show you when the charging is complete. Unfortunately wireless charging isn't supported but you can charge these up in about an hour and a half using a USB-C cable. Now it would have been nice to have wireless charging as this feature is becoming more and more common even in some of the really cheap earbuds so that is a bit of a disappointment here. It's not something I use extensively myself but I know a lot of you really like this feature so here's a few points lost there. The standard USB slot can be of course used to charge up your devices but with only a 2000 mAh battery you're not going to get much juice out of this and into your device so it's more of an emergency backup. It's still a nice feature to have nonetheless. Perhaps they could have excluded this and put in wireless charging. Maybe that would have been a good trade-off. I had no problems setting up and pairing the earbuds. You simply take them out of the case and they'll go straight into pairing mode. The earbuds are also using touch capacitive buttons, which I didn't mention earlier. And this is one of my preferred features to have because physical buttons you have to press harder and it can just make them more uncomfortable to wear while you're pressing the buttons. You can use them to answer and reject calls, change the volume, pause and start tracks and also skip to the next track. When it comes to comfort and connectivity, the earbuds were really nice and lightweight and compact. So they were really comfortable to wear while training and they do come with a range of ear tips so you can make sure you get a nice snug fit. The connectivity was also great. I had no problems with dropping in and out and the audio quality always remained nice and clear. And of course, let's talk about the audio quality. I did do a range of different tests, including a bass test. And I have to say that these earbuds performed well overall. They're in about the mid range when it comes to audio quality. And what I mean by that is comparing these to earbuds that I've previously tested around a similar price range. These fall somewhere in the middle. They don't have great audio quality and they definitely don't have poor audio quality. They're somewhere in the middle. If you're an audiophile or someone who is used to using expensive, high quality headphones, then these might not be for you in terms of audio quality. But if you're an average user and you just want a pair for the gym or just something to use occasionally, these will definitely be a great option. I would have liked a little bit more playtime out of the earbuds. However, you get about a five hour playback time before you need to charge them. There are quite a few products that have an extra few hours that you can get out of them. So a little bit disappointed there. But other than that, I do still really like these earbuds. They have a great look and feel to them and they do feel of a great quality. So if you can get past some of these minor details, I definitely think they are a great option and I have no problems recommending them. I really hope you enjoyed the video guys. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more videos like this one. And of course, I will see you in the next one.